UAV flight map utilizes the Google Elevation API, SRTM3 and SRTM1 data, can import DEM files, and also triangulate user-defined point lists. It uses these data sources to extract 3D models, orthophotos, and contour lines. Additionally, it can generate drone missions that accurately follow the terrain morphology. Welcome to the UAV flight map video tutorial. In just 10 minutes, we will show you the main features of the software. Upon launching the program, it displays a welcome page where you can open an existing project, create a new one, or use the list of recent files. In this tutorial, we will create a new project starting from a KML file created in Google Maps or QGIS, which defines an area of approximately 24 hectares to be surveyed. After clicking the New button, a dialog box will open allowing you to enter the file name. Let's enter the name Demo and click Save. After a brief initialization phase, the application displays the satellite map and is ready for use. In this tutorial, we have chosen the dark theme, but you can choose your preferred theme using the options menu. The program is organized in a simple way. On the right side, there is the map, and on the left side, there is the options panel related to the selected task. At the top, you will find the toolbar. The four different tasks are point management, 3D map, mission planning, and mission export. Each task has its associated options panel. The remaining part of the mission toolbar contains a drop-down list to select the active mission and various actions that can be performed on it, such as creating a new mission, deleting the selected one, or renaming it. The file toolbar contains commands to create a new project, save or open an existing one, import KML files, and export missions to DXF, along with typical commands found in Windows applications. The Home tab allows you to return to the Welcome page. To go back to the application, click the Edit button. Let's now use the Import command to load the KML file containing the survey area. Select the file and click Open. Automatically, a new mission will be created with the name specified in the KML file, and it will be displayed on the map. Next, let's use the Point Management task to load a series of points of interest. Click the Import Points command, and a dialog box will open, allowing you to specify the coordinate reference system used in the file. In our case, the coordinates are in UTM Zone 32 North. Click the Choose File button, select the desired file, and click Open. Since the other options are correct, click Confirm, and the points will be loaded and displayed in the corresponding list on the left panel. Now let's go to the Mission Editing subsection to make a small modification to the area using the Edit tool. Click to add a point in the closing segment indicated in blue. Note that to insert intermediate points in the other segments, drag the gray intermediate handle. Return to the Points task to demonstrate how, by simply clicking on the map, we can add points to the list, capturing not only longitude and latitude but also altitude, thanks to Google's advanced features. The points in the list can be easily exported to any reference system. Click on the 3D Map task. To simplify the graphics, turn off the points from the layer window. Now we will proceed with acquiring the 3D model and orthophoto for the entire area. We can extract the model from SRTM3, SRTM1, Google, ASCII grid files, or imported points. In this case, we will show how the software can extract the 3D model from Google. We need to specify the desired density, so let's choose the low density. Click the Acquire 3D Model button to proceed. In this case, nine different tiles will be extracted to cover the entire area.
After the 3D model extraction is completed, we will now indicate the pixel size of the orthophoto to download. Enable the checkbox that allows downloading multiple images and click the Acquire Image button. This operation, to generate the image of the required size, will create a collage of 12 different images downloaded from Google. Once the operation is complete, click the Show Image button to see the result. Turn off the triangles, zoom in on a specific area, and notice that the quality is indeed high. In this view, you can also draw polygons to evaluate areas and lengths by simply clicking on the desired points. To delete the polygon, click the Trash Can button. In the Options panel, set the contour interval to every 3 meters and one guide every 3 contours. Then click the button to generate contour lines. The result can be viewed in the dedicated CAD view. Additionally, using the Layer button, you can overlay them on the Google Map. It is possible to export in various formats. Let's now see an export in DXF for AutoCAD and an additional export of the 3D model in OBJ, useful for 3D modeling software. In AutoCAD, we now have the geo-referenced image, the 3D faces, and also the contour lines. Here we can see the 3D model with the textured orthophoto. Viewing contour lines during mission planning can help assess the correct organization and subdivision of the missions to optimize the altimetric impact on the drone's route. Select the Mission Editing task. To simplify the graphics, turn off the contour lines and select the mission that the software automatically created. Rename it to Mission 01. Type the name Mission 01 and click the Confirm button. The software offers the possibility to create different types of missions. We will use the normal natural mission type. Now select the drone you want to use. In this example, we choose the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Set a front and side overlap of 75% with a ground distance of 90 meters. The software calculates a ground sample distance, GSD, of approximately 2.5 centimeters. Click the button to insert and modify the mission, and simply click on the desired contour points to create the mission. Fine-tune the vertices of the perimeter and then rotate the orientation angle by about 90 degrees. Now select the Takeoff Position tool to indicate the actual takeoff point. Notice that the software recalculates the path so that the start and end points of the mission are close to the takeoff point. However, the speed is too high. Increase the capture interval to 4 seconds to achieve a lower speed of approximately 6 meters per second. The calculated total flight time is about 15 minutes, with 185 photos to be taken, covering a distance of 4.5 kilometers. Let's create the second mission. Enter the name Mission 02 and activate the Clone Selected Mission option. This will create an identical mission to the previous one. Now, modify only the two vertices on the left, and you will quickly cover the entire area. At this point, we have two missions with the same takeoff point, perfectly adjacent to ensure proper overlap for photogrammetry software. We can now proceed with the export. From the mission list, select Mission 01. First, calculate the altitude. Use Google as the data source and select medium quality. Start the calculation by clicking Confirm. After the operation is completed, a report window will appear, 
allowing you to quickly verify several important parameters. The bottom chart shows the detailed terrain profile along the path, with the blue line representing the terrain, the pink line indicating the ground altitude at the takeoff point, and the green line representing the drone's flight path. Moving the mouse over the chart will display a blue dot corresponding to the corresponding point on the mission. Now, proceed with the file export by clicking the Export Mission button. Select DJI Pilot 2 to produce the KMZ file. Enter the file name, click OK button to confirm to export the file. Copy the KMZ file to a micro SD card to directly import it into the remote controller. To view the mission in 3D, click the Earth button. For more information and to download the free trial version, visit our website at uavflightmap.com.